Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here from Visualized NZ. Trash Craft Tuesday time and I'm going to do a little harvesting project that's a challenge issued by Lydia over at February and June. I'll link her video in the description box below. Where you take one magazine and the challenge is to take something from each page. Um, so this is the magazine I've chosen. I haven't had a good look through it, so hopefully it's going to be nice. Um, so a page is a single piece of paper. So rather than front and back, it's just a single piece. <coughs> Please excuse me. I took a big slug of my drink before I started the video and it's irritated my throat. So hopefully I won't cough too much. I've chosen this magazine. It is 114 pages. Um, Lydia's one, I think, was up close to 200 pages. So let's get into it. The challenge includes the front and back cover. So just looking at the cover, I've already chosen out a couple of things that I'm going to take. Um, there's this quote here, grief never really goes away. I didn't actually look on the other side, it's okay, I'll take that. Because I think that's quite appropriate to where I'm at, and I could turn that into a little, you know, put it on a journal card, or I could just put it in my personal journal to document a hard day that I might be going through. So that's my first bit. I'm also going to take this text here. Um, this is not to use as is, like broken heart. I'm not going to use that, but I'm going to cut it up into letters to use as ransom style lettering. This text here I could use, um, I could take, but it's a bit on the large side. So, on to the, the other side, and I am just going to check. I don't think there's anything I particularly want. I could use the woman there, it's a bit smaller. Um, hopefully I'm in frame. It's it's quite a large format magazine. Um, but I don't think I'm going to. Huge L. I'm not going to take that. So what am I going to take off this page? Hmm. I don't know that I want anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take some of this red. And that can be used in collage. So just a section of background colour and red, I love red so that's it that's all I'm taking from that page so it's the second time I've done this challenge my first one I scrapped the video love this dragonfly here that is super pretty so I want the dragonfly um, don't really want the socks so let's take the dragonfly just double checking on the other side Um, and there's a few reasons why I scrapped it. The initial magazine I chose to do this challenge with was like 210 pages. And I bit off more than I could chew. Because I recorded for an hour and 20 minutes and I didn't complete the magazine. And I tried speeding it up and I thought, but it's not complete. I didn't finish the challenge so I just scrapped it. Um, and that's okay because I've still got all the stuff that I harvested. So no loss. I love little paint, <coughs> excuse me, little paint swatches like this. So definitely keeping those. Um, and this quote here from Dr. Seuss, I think I'll take as well. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. And that could actually be quite appropriate as well. It's like with the loss of our dear Georgie, it's like, don't cry because he's gone. Smile that we had him in the first place because he chose us. He was a stray and he chose chose us and we had very, very precious times with him. Short though it may have been. Okay, we're doing okay so far. Full page lady there. Don't really want that. This is really sweet. This um, illustration here of a girl holding a big heart with a bird on her shoulder. Love that. Let's take that. Just being careful because I'm not sure if I want the handbag or not. Uh, probably not actually. Just looking. Asparagus. Yum. 
so that's it for that page heart and soul searching nothing i feel like this is going to be a lot of text but that's okay um i'm going to take that text i think whether i use it intact like heart and soul as a title or whether i cut it up into letters um, i could also cut this up into letters or use that intact um, i'm also looking at this really cool sort of distressed edge on the background there and so i'm going to take part of that and turn it into faux washi tape so just run my scissors up take off the excess and do some faux washi there and of this plane a bit as well one of my favorite things to do with background textures of magazines oh look at those cuties oh cuddles with your doggy it's awful but that's the reality of grief it never goes away it permeates everything but it also makes you appreciate things more clearly a quote from the article there um this wasn't intended i did not know that there was this whole big article on grief um you know some things just seem to meant to be um and that's where i am at right now i am definitely feeling better than what i was but it's it's with me all the time definitely with me all the time right this could be a challenge um it's a really lovely portrait actually i've got more distress down here but not yeah not something i think i would use because it's yeah just because is that a good enough reason is that a good enough explanation for you just because Um, but if I don't, what am I going to take? Because we need to take something. More sort of, I love this distressing that they've done. It's really cool. And hopefully you actually in frame for that. I'm thinking about taking this portrait because that might be useful for collage. For doing an, an art layout like a Marguerite Miller collage or something like that. So I am going to take that portrait. She's a um, New Zealand news news presenter, I think. In the media, anyway. Uh, and this is a New Zealand actress here. Um, I'm kind of looking at this background and going, yep, I'll take the background. I can turn that into washi. very subtle light bright and breezy washi um text here national treasure that's some good text i love the pale green background with the white text it's quite pretty so one of the other reasons that i um discarded my previous attempt at this challenge the video for it was because my husband came home at the end as I was kind of finishing up so it ended a little bit abruptly and I didn't complete it so yes hmm what am I going to take here my friends I'm striking out a bit on imagery to take so I'm going to take some of the background again for washi and I could use cut this strip out here and just use that as a decorative strip somewhere. It's a little large to, to take it as a frame. So I'm just going to take some and turn that into faux washi. If we've got time at the end, which I highly doubt we will, I'll look at maybe doing a few bits with bits that I've harvested. All these bookcases, but they're out of focus, which is a real shame. Um... Could we make that into faux washi? What would that look like? No, no, it's not not pleasing me. Um, 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a strip along here. I'm just roughly cutting it. And here. And then when I, I'll turn this into faux washi and try and get the tape across so there's a green on either side and a white strip in the middle. Failing that, I'll put make two and make them half green, half white each. Something along those lines. Um, that belongs there, so we've got something there. Okay. Nothing really speaking to me there, but I quite like this. Making her story. Good text to cut up into letters. And I'm actually thinking about this image here. I love looking for black and white images that can be turned into like faux ID cards or um, things like that. So I'm going to take her. I don't know who she is. Oh, it must be this lady, but in her younger years. Still don't know who she is though. Never heard of her. Um, being very quick handed cutting this out. That T is a bit large, so I'm not going to take that. I need to do a project where I um, make some faux ID cards or something along those lines because I've got a few black and white. This one could use, but it's like this people in the background. And if you're doing a faux ID, you need it to be a single person. But perhaps this one would be a nice size for a mini like driver's license type thing. Could be quite fun. They're about the size of a um, credit card, aren't they? A driver's license. Well, at least in New Zealand they are. Okay. So, we've taken something from that page. That's fine. This is quite a cool, limey sort of green there. Um... Nothing really talking to me on that page. Text here might be okay. Let's just tear this page out. It's going to be a little bit easier to handle. I'm going to go in from this side and take the text. might take this S as well just because it's there and it's a, a nice size for ransom lettering and I'm also tempted to take the perimeter here this color is quite cool unusual not a color you find in a lot of magazines just cut out some of the interior there that I don't need trim it down a bit across there because I'm going to cut out where it's got the name of the magazine on. It's that bit. And then I'll trim it up this way to keep the length here. So I'm going to cut it up there. So a few bits of that. Some of it will be faux washi. Some I might just keep for collage for adding into a masterboard or something. Okay. Oh, what a wee sweetie she is. A little smile. But, again, I'm kind of not inspired overall by that. Um, not really inspired by these either, I have to say. Um, so... And we've already got this green, so I don't need heaps of it. I'm going to take a section of her cardigan. And this is part of what I love looking for, is interesting colours and textures. And that will be either good for collage or turn it into faux washi. Just short little strips of faux washi, they come in really handy. This would be great text if it was a little bit smaller. It's just too big for what I would be able to use um, which is a shame because there's not a lot else 
on the page. Really isn't a lot to go with. I'm going to take this O. Um, that feels really weak. But what else can I do? Um, because there's really nothing to work with. Hopefully there's something better on this page. Ooh, not really. Not really. Um, I think I'm just going to take this title says Going It Alone. Maybe I can use it in as a title somewhere in my personal journal or something. It's about the only thing I think I can use of that. So I guess that's slightly more than an O, isn't it? <laughs> okay, this I see better options with. Um, we have some options here. I actually really like this background colour as well. So I'm going to take this for text. Give future you the power to choose. So I could actually use choose as intact, future, give. All those I could use as words or I could cut them apart. Um, this text here on the white, later baby. Even that I could use intact, but I probably will chop it up. Take that, and I think I want to take some of this background colour because it's kind of a purplish red. It's quite pretty. I'm just going to tear a bit of that out. Um, that's that page done. Cool. Took quite a bit of that page. Okay, what have we got here? I'm trying to shine a light that shows no matter where you come from, you can make it. I quite like that coat. Coat? Quote is what I was aiming for. I might take that quote. There. Um, these hexagons would have been cool, but the, none of them are pristine. Um, so I think this cool out-of-focus green strip up here would make some really nice washy. So we'll take that. Not a fan of photos like that where you're looking up the person's nose. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh dear. What are we going to do, people? What are we going to do? I'm thinking this I might be able to use in collage, um, even if I like put a different body on or put a different head on or dress her up with flowers or something. I don't know, but she may be useful. Maybe, hopefully, I can use her somewhere because otherwise I've got nothing. Ooh, this is a good page. I like the ad pages. They seem to actually provide more. Oh, look at that. Gosh, that's a really emotive picture with this, um, I'm guessing war-torn sort of damaged buildings. Yeah, war photographer. Um, and this lady modelling this suit, very retro. It's beautiful, but it's really big. So I don't think I'd actually be able to use it because it's too big. Like if there was a mini version of it, it would be fabulous. She's got this big long feather sticking out of her hat. Um, so I'm going to go with this side, which is, seems such a shame. Love this image with the girl with the backpack on. I don't know what these are, rocks or something? I'll take them anyway. Maybe it's her bowl of granola. That's probably what it is. Sitting on a rock. So we'll take that. We'll take this text up here. This is fun text. I don't think I need the halo. Take the 
text um, kind of like this as well eat well today be well tomorrow um, like just if I put be well on something or today or tomorrow in my journal to document something could be useful yeah I just think it's a shame that image was too big for what I could use but it's gone now no point crying over torn paper this one out um, again this text is a little big this is a beautiful image though let's take this image again it would make a really cool faux ID um, quite like this one as well even though it's not black and white we could Use that in collage, a focal image or something. Okay, I'm not going to take that. I find it italics text very hard to cut apart, so I tend to avoid it. It's a beautiful dress. That is gorgeous. Oh, look at this. That's a wee bit small, that picture there. Um, I want to take this image just because I find it very beautiful. I don't know where I'll use it, but I like it. Maybe turn it into a tip-in in my journal or something and just put writing paper on the back and it will just be a pretty picture in my journal. Because I find that very beautiful and I love the face on her. She's got that dreamy, sort of happy expression. So... We lost this lady on the other side. That's okay. Um, oh, that's cool. These ladies sitting on wine barrels, but don't know they're particularly usable for me. I'm going to take this little black and white portrait here. Kind of cutting out and looking at this one at the same time but I don't think that's usable um, nor that one really so that's that page whiskey business there's some modern black and white photos the W is too big and this is italic text but there's spaces in between so that's easier to cut apart so I'm going to take the text and I think I'm going to take the strip up where the barrels are so I've I didn't think about it and I cut into this bottom one but I might be able to rescue it but I think that's quite a cool little vignette there of the barrels with the dates on them and the text on this bottom one which I've cut into I think that's quite fun it off, take that off the bottom. Okay, so we've got a big still there. Don't think I really want that. There's a big metal rod down in front of those barrels, so that ruins that picture. Is there anything? Okay. I think I'm going to take this little picture of the drink. That looks very tasty good for collage or documenting something I've had to drink and I'm going to take this text here this is normal when I'm harvesting a magazine I do take a lot of text so while it feels like the cheats road um, it is actually quite normal so I'm not really cheating I'm just doing what I would normally do um, just looking at this carved post here and I think that's quite fun and I think that would make some interesting faux washi I'm going to take that as well I'm looking at whether I would use her or not love her jacket very cool jacket but she's a bit grainy the photo is a bit grainy so I think I will leave it 
artwork. Mm. So it's this art or this art at the top. Unusual shapes on those. Don't see how I would use those. I may be able to use this, but I, I don't know. It's a bit of a stretch, guys. Bit of a stretch, but it's really the only thing, unless I took the T at the top. Um, so I'll have to find some way of using that. Again, I could turn it into a, just a wee journal card for my journal. Maybe to document doing this process. This is interesting. Hmm. Could I use that image? Or would I rather use something on here? I think this is more usable for me. And I'm really just looking at the, the text. <clears throat> and take a D. Is that anything like taking a knee? If you've seen um, like Friday Night Lights, you know, they take a knee. It means they kneel down in front of their coach for a little talking to. That's what it reminded me when I said take a D. Take a knee. Okay, so we're, we're not going with that. We're just taking the text and I'm just not going to bother cutting it down anymore. I'll just leave it at that. Save some time. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I know what I want to take from here. I want the hand holding the phone. Not the other hand pointing at the phone because I can cut out the hand and make it hold something else which is really good for collage so taking the hand nothing I really want on that side sharing is caring yes indeed and that's pretty much all I want off that page so Text. Bit big to use intact, but um, I'll cut it apart for the letters. And I like this quote down here. Not all of the quote. Um, just going to take all of it for me. now. I think this part at the bottom brings me joy. I would use that. Just that bit brings me joy. Um, that's probably all I'd use from that but I'll just leave it like that for now and that's that page done these beautiful pink ribbons for breast cancer awareness but they're too big I too big even for the cover of a journal or anything which is a real shame um Again, it looks like text. I'm going to take this text here. Again, it's got that really nice colour background. So take that. Um, I'm also looking at this. This, I think this would be good. Coming together or coming together to help. I could use that for like at one of our community dinners or just using coming together um, on a journal card or a tag or something. Okay. Ooh, oh dear, what are we going to do? Okay, take this quote because there's a couple of words in there I could cut and use. But apart there's um, benefit or benefits amazing so that's probably all I've confined on there well some of these pages are a bit lean oh, asparagus yum 
asparagus season is always way too short don't you think it's always disappointing when it's like really there's no more asparagus i'm going to take the image of the asparagus because that could be useful for like a marguerite muller collage and also the text use the text for ransom and this bit down here with it's a kind of a bluey gray uh, out of focus would make awesome washi faux washi more asparagus yamo flash fried asparagus with prosciutto i think i could use that in collage both of those images or i might need a savory dish or something or i could choose that one it's a little souffle so i'm just taking the whole page there oh doesn't that look tasty yum asparagus and mustard tart can't say i would have paired mustard with asparagus but okay i'll take their word for it um but what am i going to harvest more's the point i think this might be interesting texture and color on for collage masterboard and this for faux washi this wood grain with that blue gray tint oh look at this strip that would be awesome washi oh but what's on the other side oh yum citrus tart mmm it's making my mouth water um 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 um, um oh people um i'm really hungry now oh yum so i might need a picture of something sweet in or a triangle and like the triangular veggies so if i don't this would make great faux washi so it could go either side and also the text at the bottom um don't need that spiced rum barbers whatever barbers are i think there's some sort of pastry deep fried pastry thing maybe um I think I'm going with this one which is a butter pudding bread and butter pudding basically and you're using croissants it looks delicious it looks nice and warming probably use it in collage somewhere um, okay that's that one how are we going on time gosh this is so time consuming takes me ages do I really need I mean it looks yummy but um, it's not immediately grabbing me although it actually could make some nice washi so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take it for washi And sometimes I will um, join the bits together to make a longer piece. So I'll lay my tape down and then trim along the tape without cutting the tape and then butt it up against and make longer pieces. Spiced honey and ginger cake. Okay, pink pinot. I have not come across pink pinot. I love this glass though with the pink wine in it and i could use that i think the bottle is a little large so i'm just going to take the, the glass again for collage um that's it for that this handbag's quite cool just looking now i can get it and the text on the other side so don't know when I'll need a picture of a pink handbag, but if I need one, I've got one. If I can find where I've put it. Mm. That is the other thing, of course. I think I will take this text. So let's just rip the page out. Oh, maybe I might. Oh, actually, I could need a purple one for a colour prompt. Just 
and I just cut through the text on the other side. I was going to take the text. Why don't we just take all the handbags? If I don't use them, I can do the text on the other side. A dollar each way, that's what that's called. Um... I'm just going to take the text here. A J. J's are really hard to come by. So happy to find a J. And a decent size J. A lot of the J's I do find are small. And I take them just because I very really find a J. Um, I'm also going to take these numbers. So I can use those as date numbers in my um, collage calendar. Or in my journal, although I typically use printables for dates in my journal. Let's take those numbers as well. Um, don't think I want anything else off of there. Salt dough, I think that is. struggling a bit with this page I have a salt dough book so I don't really need the instructions there um, I'm going to take the word, word woman and use the letters oh I've also got the word inspiring so and read more I could totally use it in my personal journal to tell myself to read more because I love reading and I've really enjoyed it but since I've been back home after holiday I've really fallen off and I'm not long no longer reading every day again which is not fabulous okay so I am going to take quite a few things off this page so I'm going to grab this text and then these cool implements here so some garden forks Um, the spray unit I can use to document when my hubby does some weed spraying. Soil thermometer. Well, don't need one of those. I could use the rake though. Don't really want the tool belt there. Take the rake. And these pruning equipment here. For when hubby does a whip round to trim back the banks here rows and things like that. So they're cool. I like those. <laughs> Very leggy scrap there. I could have done this when I was doing the Marguerite Miller College week 12. Now here's this a big image of this lady with the heart, but I think it's too big. So this is a journal page. Could possibly make it work. All I'd have to do would be mostly lose the leaves on the side. Um, do I want that or would I rather have like the spades and the trowel? I think I'm going to leave this intact. I do like that image and maybe I can work something out with it. Okay. This one, I'm going to take several things. So I'm not going to cut it up now. I think feel good. I could use that intact as a heading or something. Um, I can use this text. I could cut out these wee leaves. I can cut out these numbers, these Images here, coffee, lemon, bananas, the checklist. You can use all of those. Um, and if there's, if I don't end up using on the other side, I could cut up that text. So rather than cut all those things out, I'm just going to put the whole page aside. This is quite a interesting image. But again, it's big. Um... 
and to me it actually doesn't look that happy her eyes look sad which is fine like it's absolutely fine to be sad but I'm not sure that I would actually want to use it um, so I'm going to take text when all else fails take text text it is Oh, I like that word, those words, lived in harmony. It's a pity it's not live in harmony, but. And there's create there as well. It says create waste, but um, that's taken out of context, of course. That's not what it's talking about, but I could use the word create and perhaps lived in harmony or cut it apart and turn it into live in harmony. Um. Yeah, it's pretty much all from there that I want. It's a Marai. It's a Mary meeting house. Ooh, I do see something I want, though. I want this bit down the bottom. Can you see that? Am I even in frame? This cool, like, watercolour earth strip along the bottom. That would make awesome washi tape. Almost didn't see that. Um, and same on this side just a shorter bit because if I don't take that then there's not a lot else that I would actually use from there Wonderland oh goodness don't like that subtitle <clears throat> that text don't know that I would have a use for that landscape and I don't like this hashtag here but I'm going to take some of it and the bit above it I will cut up into ransom lettering so that's ransom lettering but this I'm going to shorten into love you As a hashtag. There we go. Interesting little um, caricature. So it could take growing vocabulary or facing judgment. I think both of those are good text. So I'm just going to cut across underneath and then make up my mind which one I want and then possibly use that caricature as well. Somewhere. Somewhere, somehow. There's another wee caricature here. So again, I'm just going to cut across and use... The text and possibly the little image. My muffin top quivered with excitement, but my jeans called out from my suitcase. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I'm going to take that because I like the excitement part of that. Um, crime book of the month. The man who died twice. Oh, just please excuse me. Um, I think I'm going to take this good read text here. And put that. I do have a uh, reading journal as well where I document what I read and what I think of it and when I started it and when I finished it um, so I could use that in my reading journal which is not something I've ever shown on camera interestingly enough um, just trim that bit off because we don't want that little 
random hanging off bit and I could go with text on either side here so I'm just going to cut down there I think that's all from that one okay puzzle pages I'm kind of kind of thinking about this here because it's very like honeycombish, isn't it? Um, even though it's a puzzle, maybe I could somehow play with it in terms of my bee journal that I want to make. So I'm actually going to take that and I'm cutting off the clues so I won't actually be able to do it. Maybe I should have left the clues on, but anyway, it's just... Just the honeycomb look. Um, yeah, that's all I want there. We're almost there, people. How are we going? Oh, yep. At least this is well under an hour so far. So that's a good, good start compared to my last video that I attempted on this. Um... It's tape great to use intact. Great. It's a great word to use on a piece of ephemera. Um, don't want any of the puzzles. This actually could be quite fun to use in collage as you know as opposed to like a bit of book page or something just something a little bit more random okay and actually looking at those i'm going to take the sudoku puzzles because i like doing sudokus i haven't done one for ages so i might do those later today have a little break and do some sudoku Under pressure. Yep, nothing on the other side. That can definitely be used at some points in my journal. When I'm feeling particularly pressured. Let's take a C just because it's hanging out there. No pair of shoes. Are, but they're, they're quite small images and I think they're a little bit small. Let's take a Q&A. Again, the Q's. I definitely find more Q's than what I find J's. Um, but I will take the Q. And I've got more than enough A's than I'll ever use. But I'm taking another A. It's the most common letter in my ransom letter box is A. Okay, last paper page before we get to the cover. Um... Oh, lovely. It's a cartoon about periods. Um, I can't see that I would ever want to use that. Ugh. As a child growing up on the Otago Peninsula, I was always playing with paper dolls and obsessing over the dress-up box. Destined to be a fashion designer. It's kind of cool. Um, this would be awesome for faux washi. So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take a bit extra. Because again I might use just some of the, the plain colour as well. So that, that's going to be beautiful graphic washi. Um, I'm definitely rejecting that cartoon. Right. We're up to the back cover. I'm going to tear it off and see what we can grab. It's so cute, but I don't really need a baby image with a duck towel. But it's cute. Um, what's on this? Gin. I've never had gin in my life. Don't know what it's like. Um, 
dogs are barking down the street and I'm being very noisy right now such a sweet image though might might be able to use it in collage if I need a baby image don't know that I've ever come across a baby uh, prompt but if I do maybe that's the one because it's so sweet what a beautiful little face so I'll take the image and maybe the text above that so I'm just leaving it together so there we go we've got a real trashed magazine right here we have done it to death it's got all sorts of bits falling out of it um, it's a lot thinner than what it was so I think I did fairly well so that's the magazine what's left of it and then this is my pile of bits and pieces that I've taken from it so much smaller pile and some of this you know once I cut bits out will end up in the trash as well but a lot of good bits I think this was definitely more successful than my first attempt I hope you enjoyed this challenge um, watching me harvest a magazine from start to finish and if you want to give it a go join in I'm sure Lydia would love to have you jump in as well um, you don't need to make a video on it you can just do it for fun and maybe post a photo on her group uh, her group is creating with February and June I think I'll try and link that in the description box as well or in my group visual vibes which is always linked in the description box uh, love to see what you do because magazines are just a world of opportunity some more than others so that's it for trash cover tuesday hope you enjoyed take care my friends and i'll be back tomorrow with another video for you until then have a great day bye